slice them. I pat them together, make sure there's no air pockets, turn them into big chunky slabs like that. And then, next one, uh-oh, we moved into tile testing. Go ahead, we'll get back to that. Robin did a lot of these tile tests, working with underglazes. I haven't used underglazes yet. I've, I'm sticking with glazes because they're more luminous and rich in color. But I will need them eventually, probably. This is a before picture. This is an after picture. Yes. After they've been fired. Okay. okay, then in this case, I'm starting to cut up the clay. In, first I scrape it smooth. Then I take the pattern traced off a bit, lay them on the clay, and I cut them out. And if there's interior configurations, I use a stylus to create a little dimpling effect in there. And that's the way I make uh, each of the shapes. Okay, go ahead. And then I turn them over and score them like that to create suction when you stick it on the wall so it doesn't fly down the wall. It's typical of commercial styles. Go ahead. Robin likes to do that, actually. There's the bisque work. This is uh, after they've been pre-fired or the first firing. They come out very white and very absorbent, very receptive to glazing and to other techniques. And uh, the, the challenge, one of the steps is to, uh, it takes me weeks to dry out a towel. I have to sandwich it in between drywall with newspaper, change it every two days for about two weeks try to dry it very slowly and then when it's dry enough I put it on a metal rack and leave it completely dry then I bisque fire it and then this is the kiln this is uh, preparing for bisque firing this is the bisque firing before after okay go ahead okay, same, same the border towels that were used as the uh, glazing party in 2015 that's the names that were imprinted on the back so that when the people who created these will be able to say, oh, I am A's too. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's a whole pile of bisque towels ready to be glazed and prepared to fire up at work. The final. Go ahead. These are glazing. You, with glazes, you don't get what you see. You get something different. They, they don't look that's, that's a very pale looking blue, it comes out cobalt, deep blues, like that. Okay, and that's stacking the kiln and uh, taking it up to anywhere from 1800 to 2200 degrees. And uh, that's before, that's after. Incidentally, some of the factors in here are typical to schools, like when growing up, there was always a flag in the school. There was always a globe. And you know, I forgot, there was always a George Washington with unfinished paint. Remember that? You have one of those in your pack? Uh, maybe I can work it in somewhere, but I'm not sure. <laughs> we always had a George Washington picture, and I uh, remember they told us that he was so exhilarated when he got a good likeness that it just ran off and forgot to finish the painting. Anyway, these are test tiles, and uh, these are the finished tiles. This is an assemblage of all the finished tiles and test tiles. I think I might have told you that about 7% of the work warps or distorts or something goes wrong and I have to redo it. And there I am redrawing something at a larger scale. Go ahead. I think I've pretty well covered. That's the big platform I had to make to lay them out so I could keep track of everything. Very practical, simple procedure. That's some of my work in the back, the paintings I was working on. I have a nice studio space upstairs and downstairs. Fortunately, I need that space now. There's my daughter, Rachel, helping lay out the towels. Okay, go ahead. Now, are all these colored gowns that you're showing us, are these completed work? Yes, that these are. That, that will be on the yes. mural film? Yes, they're completed parts. I don't know how you did that. 
these are completed parts and the, the white ones are yet to be glazed. Yeah. There it is laid on one big platform. And uh, lastly, I'm sorry to take so long, but lastly, this is the context that was preferred by uh, many of the lab school uh, representatives. And that's Klein Park and uh, Jenkins Hall in the background. And although it has nothing to do with the lab school, it is an educational institution in its miniature form. So uh, that, that would be one place it could be, but that remains to be seen. I hope to have the opportunity to uh, speak with the Board of Governors and present our idea. And I'm, I'm a little anxious about it, but uh, I'm hoping that they will show an interest and maybe help choose a place for it. Otherwise, we can do that. <laughs> I, I think maybe that should give you a pretty good idea of what we're up to. I hope next.